Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com, and today I'm showing you how to unroot your Samsung Galaxy S4 without a computer required. The only requirement is that you are rooted. So this is great for people who are on the go or are running on Mac or Linux, as this will completely unroot it. And after this whole process, this will be safe enough that you can actually send it back to the manufacturer or your carrier um, with them, without them ever knowing that you ever modified it or, you know, installed a custom ROM or rooted it. Um, so it's going to be 1% foolproof. Um, but if you are actually planning on sending it back to your carrier or Samsung, make sure you watch that um, video right here, how to reset flash counter. I have a link down below too for resetting flash counter. You need to do that first and then do this mobile Odin as the flash counter app does require you to be rooted and then watch this mobile Odin and then um, you'll be able to send it back. And if you just want to unroot it, uh, just, you know, watch this video and you'll still be able to get that whole process and your goal accomplished. Um, so first thing we're going to do is actually go into my files and I'm going to show you one file um, that you need to download uh, onto your phone. And it's right here, so m919.har.md5. Um, and now this is going to be different for every type of model number for your Samsung Galaxy S4, as this will work for every type of Galaxy S4 except the GT i9 500. This is going to work for the international LTE i905, uh, all US carrier variants, all uh, Canadian variants. Um, I have a link down below for all the tar files specific for your model number, so just click on the article down below. Um, they'll say like step-by-step -step guide and download links. Click on that. That'll bring you to my website. And there is where you can get actually get all these files and everything I do mention in this video. Um, very easily to do. Um, one convenient place. So make sure you download the correct one for your uh, device. You can just go into my device, about phone, about device, and then look at the model number. And then you can find out your specific model number. Um, so once you get that completed, um, I'm going to head down to the Play Store and show you which app you have to actually download. And now this one is a uh, paid version. You can get the free version. Uh, click on the same article down below. Uh, I believe in step one is where you can actually go to the forum and actually install the app manually. But that uh, does take a little bit of time. It is kind of complicated. Um, I would recommend you actually support the developer, Chainfire, and actually just buy the app from the Play Store. I believe it's only about five or six bucks, so not a big deal. You can obviously reuse this over and over again uh, next time you get a new device or next time you want to unroot your device. And if it's supported, you'll be fine. Um, so this one costs about five or six bucks. I'm going to be using this one as I do want to support Chainfire. And I do recommend you actually pay buy the $5 one. You're, do you're technically just donating to him. You know, so be sure to um, uh, support him. Um, but if you want to get the manual version, you, I'll have a link down below in step one of my article, and you can go to the forum and read the read the instructions. So first thing we do is just tap on open, and then it's gonna uh, ask for super user request. Do remember choice forever. Allow it. All right, it's loading everything, and now it's gonna ask for download with an add-on. Tap on download, and you'll have to do this manually if you're using the free version. That's why the pro version is much more convenient and easier to use as you don't have to do a lot of these steps uh, manually. So we are done. Uh, the download process is finished. Now it says your device may boot into download Odin mode before flashing it, in which case you will see a big green Android, not a blue one. If this happens, unplug the USB cable and press and hold the power button for 10 seconds to continue. So just keep in mind, if you see a green Android, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. Okay, tap on OK. Follow him on Google Plus and Twitter. Recommend it. Great guy. Scroll all the way down until you go to open file and look at that tar.md5 file. Mine's on my internal SD card. And here's mine, the M919 from my specific T-Mobile Galaxy S4 model number. I'm gonna tap on OK. Now that's selected. Make sure you do make sure you disable Everroot. You're gonna run into problems. Um, I tried this and I uh, ran into problems when I enabled Everroot and tried to unroot it. Um, you got stuck on the Samsung logo, so make sure you do um, disable this. Even if you are want to keep that root, just disable it and reroute it another time or later on. You know, it's a lot easier, less less complicated. And make sure you select wipe data and cache and wipe down the cache. So make sure you have the file selected. Make sure this is all disabled and make sure wipe data and cache is selected and wipe down the cache is selected. Scroll down and select flash firmware. Um, it says your battery is at 38%, so if your battery is under 50%, do be sure to plug it in, but don't plug it in just yet. You're going to run into problems if you do plug it in right now. So tap on continue, and continue, and do check. So it's going to make sure all the files are there, everything's A-OK, -okay, and good to go. Um, so I'll tell you when to actually plug it in. Um, if you're on like 10%, don't even do it right now. 
charge it up up to like you know 40 50 percent and then um, do this process and then plug it in when I tell you to so I'll tell you when to plug it in so here's my cable right here so it's doing this whole thing now after it finished checking the um, MD5 to make sure everything was good and don't plug it in just yet or you're gonna run into problems so I'll give it a few seconds to flash and reboot and then we're gonna see that green Android I believe this happens for all Galaxy S4s so once you do see this, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. So just for 10 seconds, and it'll automatically reboot into the blue, uh, blue Android guy. Okay, now automatically turn on by itself. No need to press the power button again. And now we should see that blue Android guy. Let's give it a few seconds. All right, so there we go. There's a the blue Android guy. It did take a few seconds, about 10 seconds. So now once you're on this process, go and plug it in. Um, if you plugged it in right uh, when you were in the mobile Odin app, um, you would have ran into problems. I tried it while I was plugged in. It was a failure. Um, so make sure you plug it in during this process, and you'll be fine then. So this will take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, um, and then we'll be done. So I'll be back in about 5 minutes. Okay, so I just finished that blue bar just finished, and now it should be rebooting. All right, it's just doing a little bit more things. Okay. So it's clearing the cache and Dalvik, all that good stuff. So we're just going to wait. And then um, let me go and mute my computer so I don't hear that noises. Okay, let's go and mute it. And now it should be uh, entering you into stock recovery, which it is right there. Um, so that is how you know. And now we're going to go ahead and give it a few seconds. Don't worry. And now we're going to go and do a factory reset. So um, if you can see that, I'm so sorry about the small text. Um, so we're going to go to wipe data says factory reset. All the way down to that, select using the volume up and down and power button, and select yes, all the way yes. Okay, and now it's going to go do its thing, this will just take about a few seconds. Okay, so now we're done with the effect reset. Um, just for precaution, we're going to go ahead and wipe cache partition as well, just in case, um, so we don't run into any problems. So that's going to be wiping, and it should automatically reboot by itself. So let's see, it should do that. And yes it is, so it's automatic rebooting. And you can go and unplug your phone now if you want. Nothing bad's gonna happen anymore. You're in the safe zone now. So now it should reboot normally. So I'm just gonna give it a few seconds until we actually see the Samsung logo startup screen. And then we'll go and continue and show you we're on stock unrooted. All right, so there we go. We are booting up. So I'll be right back after it finishes booting up. Keep in mind, it will take about uh, five to 10 minutes just because it's the very first boot up. Okay, so it took about five minutes just to boot up. I'm gonna go and skip through all of this. Um, so I may cut off the video just to save some time. Okay, so now we're on the stock look. So let's go and tap on apps and look for super user, which we will not find. Um, so it is. So as you can see, everything is all completely stock. All your apps are gone. Um, if you go to all files, device storage, I'll show you everything is gone. All the MD5 tar files gone. All my ROMs are gone. Everything is completely wiped. I mean music, movies, everything is gone from your internal. Um, if it was on your external SD card, you'll be fine. As you can see, files are still there. So you'll be fine if it was on external. Internal, completely gone. Super is all gone. And then if we go into settings about device, I just want to show you that we're running on stock. So there you go, model number, Android version, baseband, kernel, all that is stock. And if you go tap on Android version, you'll get a little jelly bean right there. And you are on stock. So that is how you do it. Super simple to do. It'll work on every variant except the GT i9 500 International Galaxy S4. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner as that does really help me out a lot. And be sure to stay tuned for more tutorials, not for this Galaxy S4, but many other devices and ROM reviews, tricks, tips, and a lot more good stuff just for Android and just for you guys. And if you do run into a problem, be sure to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links are down below. Below, and everything I mentioned from the files to the guide to written to guide actually is down below in that one article. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you later. Peace